Hi, good morning, everybody. As you can see, I got it all packed up now. It's about 6.40 in the morning. Sun's right over there. Fixing to go get a biscuit here in the store. It's about 44 degrees right now. There's a dog right over there that seriously barked all night long. I don't know why anybody would want a dog that just barks, bark, 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 bark. It's just amazing to me. But anyway, fixing to get started here. Got 62, 63, 64 miles. I don't know. I didn't do the math to do today to get to the end in Houston and come back through and go back to New Albany. So and get a little breakfast and get cracking. Oh, yeah. Sausage egg and cheese. This place is hopping. All right, it's seven o'clock on the nose. And we're on our way. The new Holka whistle stop is 9.4 miles away. That's a lot of goats. Beautiful day. One of the other little hobbies that I've had in the past and still do a little bit is uh, geocaching. So, uh, so I stopped and uh, here we go. See the little black container? That's a uh, geocache. When you find one of them, you uh, sign the log and then you record it on the, uh, on the geocaching uh, application. And then uh, that's just another one you found. So. so I'm close to 200 now. So far my longest day is uh, 52. That was on the uh, Chief Ladaga Trail. Uh, from Piedmont to the beginning and back to the state line. So uh, this uh, 63 mile day will be my longest day uh, ever. So see how I feel at the end of it. It's raining leaves. All right, coming in a new Hulk car. Yes, we got the new Hulk car in 54 minutes, so 9.4 miles in 54 minutes. All right, it is uh, 8.15, leaving uh, new Hulk car. It's uh, 49 degrees. Nice little break back there at the uh, whistle stop. Had to shed a layer of clothes. That jacket was getting a little warm. But 9.9 uh, uh, .9 miles to go to the very end. Three more miles to go. So yeah, uh, starting out uh, it was about 45 degrees, I guess, when I started this morning. It's probably up to about 50 right now. It's actually not as cold feeling as I figured. Of course, you know, I've been pedaling for a lot of miles and uh, pretty warm. I already had to shed a layer, but uh, it's actually uh, not that bad. I am looking forward to backpacking season, so like I said, this will probably be the last uh, long bike trip for this year. Anyway, uh, this has uh, really been nice temperature wise. The southern half of this has pretty much just been just trees. Every now and then you'll get a view of a field or creek or something like that. But for the most part, it's just uh, it's just trees. Oh, there's a view of a power line. Coming into Houston about a mile and a half to go all right this looks like the end
So this is the end right now. Alright, it's a uh, 9.04. We're building the last uh, whistle stop right here. We're going to have a nice parking lot. So this is as far as it's got. Looks like you can do the whole thing. That was uh, just a little over uh, two hours from that section. It's less than five hours it takes to do the whole thing. All right, only 43.6 miles that way. It's 9.23. Should be able to do this in roughly about five hours. If uh, my ride this morning and yesterday has anything to do with it. 9.23, five to six hours. All right, now that we're doing the math, I'm going to uh, shoot to be back in New Albany by three o'clock. Uh, let's give myself a little extra time there for lunch and stuff like that. So that's what I'm shooting for anyway. Today, when I came south on this thing, I had the sun in front of me the whole time. And today I've had the sun in front of me the whole time until now. So my whole way back, I will uh, actually have the sun at my back and it won't be so blinding. See, if you look down, you can actually see my shadow. Didn't get to see that at all yesterday. Y'all have a great ride. Uh, people back there at the uh, bridge, that's the same ones as at the trailhead. They're retired. They're from Missouri. So they just travel around and just do a lot of other uh, bike trails. And after they do this one, they're heading down to Louisiana to do one and so uh, that'd be the life right there be retired and just travel around and ride your bike that is awesome new holka back in new holka 9.98 you can see 10 mile mark right up there not bad though 48 minutes 37 seconds almost 10 miles heading back towards uh algoma check the weather back there and uh it's already up to 64 degrees back in short sleeves and uh took off my my long johns back at the Algoma store. It's 11.26. It's 19.58 uh, from the start. All right, leaving the store, heading on to uh, Pont de Talk. And I think it's like 5.8 miles, something like that. So it shouldn't take long to get there. Uh, sitting there in the store and drank a big Gatorade and hung out with the, the couple from uh, uh, Missouri. Talked to them for a while. And uh, yeah, it was a good time. It's nice to meet people out here and talk to them about different things you've done. and Great times. About 23 and a half miles roughly to get back. All right, heading out of the uh, Ponte Tonk uh, whistle stop. Uh, from here, it's 18 and a half miles left to go. And uh, just check the weather. It is 71 degrees today, right now. So, warming up. bench from yesterday ah, I see a raccoon crossing the path 
and there he goes down the hill cool raccoon this morning it was 44 degrees it is a far cry from that right now it's got it's supposed to rain tomorrow but for right now it is beautiful All right, coming into Ekru. Hello. All right, back in Inglemar. Uh, no, nah, I'll probably just keep on going. How far? How far we got to the beginning? Okay, yeah, I can do that. Yeah, my goal was to try to get there by three o'clock. 37 miles. I even come out here on a bicycle ride, I wind up riding with somebody. <laughs> 41 right there. So I got what? 2.6? Yep. 2.6 to go. Back in New Albany. Mark 43. At 0.6 to go. So that was red. I was biking with him for about the last 11 miles. All right. We are complete. It was uh, 249, so made it before 3 o'clock. All right. Now for our drive home. What a ride. That is a fun trail. I uh, definitely want to come down here and do it in the fall or in the spring or even in the winter. I would not recommend that one in the summer down in Mississippi. It's going to be like a thousand degrees down here. I would, uh, I would definitely uh, want to come and do the uh, northern half of it for sure. A lot of the uh, southern half of it, a lot of it kind of looks looks alike. But if you're going to come and do some of it and not the whole thing, I would say start in New Albany and go down to uh, uh, Pontiac, and that's going to get you around the halfway mark something like that uh, yeah awesome trail definitely gonna come back and do this one again sometime uh, hopefully it'll grow some they'll uh, add on to it or whatever if you like that video uh, uh, you know give it a thumbs up you know give it a like there uh, comment uh, if anybody out there is going to be uh, doing the trail I hope that video here kind of helped you out to see what you're going to get involved in uh, anyway, we'll catch you on the next one, which will probably be a hiking trip. Later. Oh, you know what time it is.